How's it going guys? I'm Theo Joe and today I've got 10 more free Chrome extensions that are really cool or really useful. So I'm going to go through all of them and I'll also try putting the timestamps in the description. It should show the little sections on the progress bar. That's a feature in YouTube. So let's get into it. All right. So starting off with number one, we have a extension called Toucan, which is basically meant to help you learn a language or at least the vocabulary of the language just while browsing the web normally. So basically you could choose from a few different languages, Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, and Italian. And then when you have this extension enabled, random words on different web pages you visit will be replaced and highlighted to show that they've been replaced with a word of your selected language. And then you can hover over them to see what that word means. And then also if you start to realize, oh, okay, I kind of know this word already, you can then check it off and then it will be shown less frequently. You also have a few options with the extension. So you can choose how frequently words are going to be replaced either less more or many and then you can also disable it on specific websites for either a certain amount of time or disable the extension entirely for a certain amount of time so you don't always have to be using it everywhere also there's a dashboard it'll show you how many words have been translated and they also have these things called packs and I'm assuming this is going to adjust the selection of words that are replaced on different websites and there are a bunch of free ones that are included and then there are some additional paid ones I kind of wish it would like show you what words were in each one one, but still it's cool that you can actually add a little bit of customization so I'm gonna probably keep this on German I learned it a long time ago but have been getting rusty so hopefully that'll keep me up to date on it all right the next extension we have is called relaxing sounds and this basically allows you to choose a bunch of different ambient noises to play in the background while you're browsing the web or doing whatever but what's really cool about this is you can actually combine sounds up to five playing at once so you can really customize the ambiance however you want there's also a volume slider to adjust the volume and I'll select a few and just kind of stop talking so I can give you an example of what you might be able to hear. So yeah, definitely a really cool extension. If you find that white noise helps you, now you can select with a lot of granularity what kind of white noise and even combinations thereof. All right, next up, extension number three. We have one called Trim, which basically just shows IMDB ratings on Netflix. So you probably know a long time ago, Netflix got rid of the actual star ratings and replaced it with this dumb match percentage rating, which doesn't even show you how well people like the show, but is rather just a recommendation percentage of how well Netflix thinks you're gonna like the show. So it doesn't really mean anything. But with this extension, if you're watching on Chrome at least, it'll actually show you a little icon with a yellow circle of the IMDB rating that other people have rated on that website. So you can get a better idea of possibly how good a show is. By by default, it'll also show the Rotten Tomatoes rating, either rotten or fresh, but you can disable that. I don't really like Rotten Tomatoes. I don't think it's too reliable. So I basically just keep it on IMDb, and I think it's a cool way to find really good shows without having to resort to Netflix's stupid recommendation percentage. All right, moving on, we have an extension called Markup for Chrome. And this is a really cool kind of collaboration tool. If you work for a company that either has a website or you ever work at a website and you have to give feedback on that website, let me show you what I mean. Basically, the extension is a tool that lets you take screenshots of any website, any URL, and then add comments to it at a specific location. So you can tag a certain object on the web page, a certain amount of text, a text block, and then on the left-hand side, you can expand to show all of the comments someone has left for it. So then you can share this list of comments, and then you can click on the comments and see exactly where someone is talking about on the screen. So it's really just good for collaboration if you're giving feedback on maybe developing a website, or you could probably just imagine how this might be useful for just collaborating in general. All right, next up, we have a extension that I really like. It's called Netflix Party. Now, I have mentioned this in a past list. However, I thought in the age of social distancing, it's more relevant than ever, and it's great if you want to watch shows with friends over the internet. Basically, it allows you to sync up the Netflix show that you want to watch with a certain group of friends. You basically generate a link and then everyone else with the same extension joins that link and then the party leader can basically control where the player is. So you can have a group chat somewhere else or just use the text chat in the browser extension itself. So definitely one to consider if you're bored with some friends on the internet one night. All right, moving on, we have an extension called Just Read. And this basically just clears out a bunch of the clutter that is on websites that are 
mostly text, like news articles, stuff like that. It's very similar to the reading mode on like mobile phones, like iOS you might see, where it kind of just gets rid of all the crap on the sides and literally just shows the article text. Same idea here. And overall, I think it does a really good job. And it does have the ability to remove additional elements. So for example, if you enable it and then you see a bunch of different crap showing up in the middle, there's an option to click on and remove that if you want manually. So definitely good for websites that have either a very weird or very cluttered organization of where the article is, stuff like that should make it easier to read in some places. All right, up next, we have an extension called OneTab. And basically what this extension does is if you have a ton of tabs open, you can click the extension, which will close all of them and save them as a list in this OneTab extension page. And then from there, you can either restore those tabs individually or all at once. So if you're realizing, okay, I'm working on this project and oh I opened so much crap and I don't need all these or might not in the future you can just close it all and then start doing something else but if you realize you want to go back to one of those pages you had open you can just bring it back also if you do this more than once so for example if you click the one tab to close out all the tabs you open up a bunch of new tabs you do it again it'll create a separate list and you can then restore each individual list or individual tabs from each list, for example, you can see. There's also the ability to share a list as a web page. So if you want to create a list of tabs and then share it with someone else, or maybe, I don't know, bookmark it for yourself later, you can do that too. And then there's a bunch of options as well. So for example, if you wanted to start up with Chrome or not, you can change that in the settings. All right, the next extension is a little bit complicated, but is definitely also very powerful. And it's called Workona, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. It basically lets you create these so-called workspaces of Chrome tabs, and it'll also create a pinned tab icon at the top left to access them at any time. So basically you add websites or tabs to an existing or new workspace. And you can do this by either clicking on the extension icon when you're on a web page and then adding it to a chosen workspace or dragging a tab into the workspace from the Workona whole interface. And I believe the idea here is it basically lets you create saved sets of tabs that you can either open individually later or all at once. So for example, maybe you have a bunch of different tabs that you use every day for work and you always end up opening these same exact websites and having them all open at the same time. Then and you can create a workspace for that and then just open them all at once without having to go to them individually. And then you also have the ability to share these different workspaces. You can either email it or share it on Slack. And there's several different levels of organization. So you can create the workspaces. There's also blocks, which means you can have multiple lists within each workspace basically. And it also has these so-called apps, which are basically integrations with other services. So for example, with Gmail, Google Drive, GitHub, and I'm not exactly sure how these integrate, but they integrate nonetheless. So I assume I'm pretty much just scratching the surface, but it seems like the basic idea is if you have a bunch of different websites you always use together or you want to just create lists of websites that you can share this seems like a decent service for that. All right, coming near the end, we got a couple more. So number nine is an extension called Suspicious Site Reporter. And this is actually an extension created by Google themselves. Like the name of the extension says, it basically just gives you the ability to report suspicious websites to Google for review, but it'll also give you a sort of possible warning in the form of an orange icon if there are some possibly suspicious characteristics about the website. And then if you click on the icon, it'll kind of show you what those are. So for example, if the website has really weird characters in it, like maybe a character that looks like an O but isn't actually, that could be indicative of a possible phishing website that's trying to disguise itself as a more popular domain, stuff like that. I don't really have any good examples because I don't really know any suspicious websites, but you can see some of the screenshots provided by the official app page. So yeah, basically if you see a possible warning and you notice, hmm, yeah, this website is kind of weird, you can send it off and have it reviewed. All right, finally for number 10, this one's really useful and this is also made by Google and it's called Link to Text Fragment. So as a little bit context, basically the past few versions of Chrome have allowed you to create links to specific text selections in a website. And this has especially been used in certain search results. So if you search for a question in Chrome and it shows that little knowledge box with an answer, now if you click through to that website, it'll basically take you exactly to where it got that knowledge box information so you can see it in the website. Well now with this extension, it makes it very easy to do the exact same thing. So basically you highlight a certain amount of text, any block of text, 
you right click it and then hit copy link to selected text. And the link will look really huge because it contains a lot of the text highlighted, but it still makes it way easier to generate the link anyway. And then you can have that link get directly to that text. So this is really good if you want to show someone a part of a website and say, here's what I'm talking about. Instead of having to say, oh, go to this website, then look for where it says this and scroll down to this section, then it's here, the second paragraph. No, you don't have to do any of that. You can just create a link directly to it and they'll see it. So yeah, anyway, definitely some useful Chrome extensions. If you guys wanna keep watching, the next video I'd recommend is where I talk about seven free Windows programs that are very useful, especially in terms of productivity. So I'll put that link right there. Also be sure to subscribe. I make two new videos a week and also click the bell so you know you get notified. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.